Hello guys, it's Mr. Dibis here again. This is the How you feeling, folks? Closed for business. Are you excited for a new episode? Dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Yeah, I'm excited. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, no, I don't. Break in I don't know really gone. why, but still. Now that you've escaped. Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Warriors. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Alright. Let's find this Admiral. Havelock guy. My pronunciation is not very good at this moment. Yeah. Samuel, the boatman, has smuggled you across the river from Goldbridge Prison. He works for, for an underground movement opposed to illegal reign of Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. <laughs> I don't know. I need to improve my English skills very much. I don't know what is it. I don't know how to speak English like properly. I don't have that English accent. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Let's see who are the loyalists. So he's starting at last, Admiral. He found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. Let's meet the loyalists. It still amazes me that Oops. someone could get to the Empress and... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo? I'm Admiral Havelock, Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the right. Empire, like you. Hello Until there. the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. Yeah. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Let's meet Piero. Or whoever this guy is. Will remain in effect through the month. You must I'll be, be Piero. crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Okay, let's see. That one is empty. A new tank. Yeah, yeah. Just wait for a minute. Let's see how this works. New whale oil, <coughs> new whale oil tank is coming for you, Piro. Just for a moment. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. No problem, Piero. See? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But 
this mask in terror to you. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Yeah. I remember this part of the game very well. I believe I mentioned in the last video before that you can buy weapons and stuff. Uh, this must be the guy, the hero. Yeah. Let's see what you got. It's crossbow, crossbow bolts, 20 coins, slip bolts, 30 coins, bullets, 30 coins, spring racer. A trap that mo can be placed on nearby any surface. Revire tool. Allows you to revive circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Consume it on usage. Grenades. Sounds good, but... I'm gonna check it this out later. What the upgrades I have? Crossbow accuracy range reload. Slip darts. Sword crossing. Spring Razor Radius Corvo Pistol Upgrade Mask Optics Bullet capa Capacity Bolt Capacity Granite Capacity Bonesaw Capacity <laughs> Spring Razor Capacity Yeah, sorry about this, my rally English, but It's not very good, but you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon you should rest while you can. Yeah, I should go to Sleep bed. Well. Okay, let's next cutscene. Cutscene. Yeah, let's see what happens next. So much stuff happening in this game already. I was sleeping and now I'm waking up. Let's see, is there anything interesting? Let's see, let's go through this room. New objective, a visit from outsider. Okay. Something is something about this place is not all right. Everything is floating. This is strange. Everything is floating here. Is this some kind of magic world or something? Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Yeah, yeah. The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we can call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. All right, let's see what this tells me. Power blink. Press Alt to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash throughout the world. You can also use it for 
use it to move upward, but distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climbing up. Yeah, I remember that in this game you have these magic powers that you can always, <coughs> you can also use, so you can like do better parkour and st stuff. Okay, hold LT to aim, blink, release LT to use. Nice. It's like teleportation device. Some sort. Fallen letter. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. Right. Piero Spiritual Remedy. Let's see. Let's teleport here. That's pretty far, but I cannot reach. I can reach it, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I need to practice more. Are you guys? Oh, my little Emily. What's the? Let's see what Emily has written for us. Corvo, I'm very sad. They, they say that you are dead, like a mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it in the river because I don't believe them. Living here is very strange. I don't like it. So please come for me if you can. Yes, of course. I will. F I will find you, Emily. No problem. I have no idea who these guys are, but they are <laughs> most likely they are twins, and they are probably rich. If you see how they, if you can see their clothing. Whatever. Uh, new spiritual remedy. Let's see. Let's pick this up. Ah, there you are, nasty old spy master. You see me angry. I will come for you. I, I will find you, and I will kill you. For sure. I don't know what are you guys, but whatever. To use blink to climb, aim at the power at the edge of the roof, ledge or other high surface. Yeah, it wasn't though so bad. It was pretty easy. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now and find another room. Let's open this chest. Okay, what this says. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes. 
runes, even throughout the walls. The heart prey beats and lights up when you are facing bone charm or rune, and it beats faster when as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press Alt T while targeting a person or location. Just one minute guys, I need to pee again. See you soon. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm back folks <sighs> Press and hold I'll be to open up the quick as access wheel Select a gadget or power if you want to equip In your left hand and release I'll be to confirm Assign a hotkey to weapon or power by selecting that item in the quick access wheel and pressing any direction on. Mm, I got it. Let's see how this heart works in my left hand. Let's see what's in here. Another Piero Spiritual Remedy. These are very important. I remember in this game where you use these magic powers, you need to use these spiritual remedies to increase the power levels or such. Let's go here, go out here. Another remedy. Okay, I need to go to go to there. <laughs> Pretty easy. Runes and a caring powers. Once you're collected. Collected some runes, open journal and go to power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Alright, let's see what, what powers we can acquire. Dark vision. Oh, it's like I can see throughout the walls and it's like thermal vision but in a different way. It, I don't know how to explain this for you in English but if you know this Honor game and if you played this game 
You know what I mean. Yeah. The blink is very easy. It's like teleportation device, some sort. Uh, possession. Yeah, I know this. It's like you can possess humans and animals and use them to go forward in your missions. Pent time. Yeah, it's like stopping time and such. I know this. The Wowering Swarm. Summon a swarm of rats that will attack others and then disperse after a short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses. Yeah, it's like I can summon like street rats and such. I can use it in my own benefits. Yeah. Nah. There's some new powers, but I will explain them to you later. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. It was like terrible dream. And now I have these new match powers. Let's see what what happens. Nice. More coins. I need those. Do I have oh, ha the heart which the this outsider guy give me? Yeah, it's there. Let's meet Admiral Havelock first. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or well, that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howl Pits. Okay. I will do that. Admiral Havelock. I'm gonna call you just Havelock. Okay. Let's see what we need to do first. Oh, Corvo? If you've a moment. Yeah, sure. Who are you, girl? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. Hello, Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? 
Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Let's see what mission objective I had. Callista has an uncle who is a captain of Dunwall City Watch. Captain Kurno is a decent man trying to make the best of corrupt regime regime and enact change from within. He is meeting much resistance. Let's see what we can do with the captain in a later on. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Yeah, I need to visit Piero first. Just wait for a moment, Samuel. I'll be here. Yeah. Expert from series of newspaper articles from prominent natural belief. <laughs> Fuck. I'm go I'm not gonna read this for you guys, but I'm gonna slow it down so you can read them if you are interesting interested in the his hundred lore. What can I do for you? Let's see what can you do. Hmm, if I need to assassinate someone, I I think I need some crossbow bolts and slip darts more. What else I should need? I think that spring razor traps are useful, so let's take one. Spring razor. Spring razor trap can be attached to any surface by hanging at it and pressing Alt. It will be triggered as enemy approaches it throwing up a cloud of shrapnel. Useful, I think. Carve a chunk of whalebone. Mm. I think it's not very useful. Revive tool allows you to re revive circuitry and turn turn the security systems to your advantage. Consumed on usage. Mm. Let's take just one. Let's see if I need that one during the next mission or something yeah I know this Sp Piero spiritual remedy yeah I can use this for like this thing boost my magic power so I can blink easier and such maybe I buy one of those Grenade. Yeah. I think grenade. Just one is gonna be useful for me. Okay. I have upgrade what I can do. Crossbow accuracy. 
crossbow range. I don't know which one is more useful. I also have this equipment upgrades. Mm. I really don't know what I should do. So I'm con I'm not gonna bother with them. So let's them just be. I have so let's see what I have. I have heart, I have bring razor mine, one grenade, six bullets, the blink effective stuff, crossbow with incendiary bolts, so fire bolts, right? Crossbow bolt eight p eight pieces and slip darts four. I don't think that I need more. Let's see what books you have, Piero. Yeah. If you are interested reading these books, if you see right here, I'm I'm not gonna read them for you guys, but I'm gonna show them to you. So just pause the video if you are interested in this hundred lore. Let's see if there's something else important in this place. I know that. With these runes you can improve your magic powers Like I show, show it to you before And also it's important to loot everywhere So you can keep, get more money Yeah Let's go to the rune Let's see if I can use this magic powers for my benefit. It has been a while when I played this game before, so I really don't remember that much of the controls and such, but it's not gonna be a problem. So, anyway, you're probably interested if I... that should I play this in the stealth style or should I kill everyone so just put in the comments what I should do yeah. let's go and see Samuel there is nothing more to me here ready to go just give the signal yeah sure let's Go then, take me to the slitter strip. <coughs> That's clear. Yeah. 